Hey guys, it's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox news video and today LaunchBox is proud to announce version 10.8. We got a lot of fixes, new improvements, and some really awesome new features. Like always, I'm going to leave a link to the changelog in the description in case you want to go ahead and read through everything. But in this video, I'm going to go over some of the more notable new features and changes to LaunchBox 10.8. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way. First up, the default LaunchBox theme has been completely overhauled and modernized, and it now includes dynamic box sizing. So in the past, yes, you were able to use custom themes, you can still use them with this, and if you want to revert back to the old theme for LaunchBox, you can do that from Options, Visuals, Theme, and choose the old default theme. Now we're going to jump right into it. I have the old default theme listed here. I just wanted to show you the difference. It's dramatically changed. So in the past, the default theme looked like this. I mean, it's still pretty nice, but we have these bezels around the game boxes. And even if we switch it out to, let's say, 3D boxes, we still get that. With the new theme, we no longer have these bezels or backgrounds, whatever you want to call them. And the new theme you're about to see will be enabled by default in LaunchBox 10.8, but you can always change it back. And here it is. We no longer have those backgrounds behind the box art, no matter what you choose here. So I'm going to go up to Image Group boxes. As you can see, no more black backgrounds. I think this looks really good. Now you might notice that the name of the games aren't listed on screen, but you can easily change that by checking the text mark down here. It'll give us the name of the game. Now I personally like leaving this off. Another thing that's been added to this new theme is dynamic game art sizing. So if I go up to image group and I change it to 3D carts, everything looks pretty normal until I get down here to American Gladiators. I don't have the car art for this game, so it left the box art here, and we get a little space. If I scroll down a little further, I think i got a couple more here. Yes. So it will dynamically change the spacing here to make everything fit perfectly. And that goes for all of our systems. Box art or 3D box art might be a little different for each one. Go to Sega Dreamcast here. PSP. So overall, I think this is a great addition to LaunchBox. We also have the blurred background image, which really makes everything pop. In addition to the default blurred background, if we click on a game, it'll give us some box art in the background, but it's a little blurred out, and I really think this looks awesome. Moving down the list a little bit, we have several new features for your retro achievements, or from retroachievements.org. So the first one dealing with Retro Achievements is the ability to easily view your profile from here over at RetroAchievements.org. Up at the very top, we have our Retro Score. I'm not proud of this. I'm only sitting at 17, but now that we have all these features baked into LaunchBox, I'll be using it a lot more. If we click on this, it'll open up our RetroAchievements.org profile. You can scroll through here, find all the achievements you've accomplished, achievements that you need to accomplish, we also have access to the global leaderboard directly from within LaunchBox and BigBox. Really nice to have this built in. And per game, we also have some options. So if I'm working on, let's say, Altered Beast, over here in my Details menu, I have my Retro Score, which is 4. I've done one of 15 achievements. And if we click on this, it'll open up a web page and bring us over to RetroAchievements.org. That way we can see what we need to work on here. If we scroll down some more, now this has been here for a little while, but some people might not have known about it. We also have our achievements listed. If we go here, I just completed the Inhuman achievement, Become a Werewolf. It'll open up a web page and let me know a little bit about that achievement. So like I mentioned, I'm not proud of my retro score, but now that all of this is baked into LaunchBox and BigBox, it's just going to be easier to manage. And finally, at least for the new features, LaunchBox now scrapes Steam to get even more images for your Steam games. In the past, at least in my experience, it was a little hit or miss, but now it'll include game posters, clear logos, and screenshots for your Steam games. So like I mentioned, a link to the changelog is in the description if you want to check it out. There's more fixes and improvements here that I haven't mentioned in this video, but there's one specific improvement that I personally love. The new inclusion of 1080p versions of Viking's colorful 4K video set. It's available under Tools, Download Platform Playlist Theme Videos. It's very easy to do. We'll just go to Tools, Download Platform Playlist Theme Videos. I'm going to select All, select to Prioritize, and I want to go ahead and get the Colorful HD by Viking. I'll just click OK. It's going to start the download for me. 
and when you're finished up, you'll have these easier to run 1080p versions of Vikings Colorful Set, which is my personal favorite right now. The PC I'm using right now does have the capabilities of running these in 4K with no issue, but this should make it a lot easier on some lower end systems, running 1080p instead of 4K videos. And these look absolutely amazing. Big shout out to Viking for this. You gotta try these out. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. We really appreciate you watching and hope you enjoy LaunchBox 10.8. Definitely give it a try. Changelog is in the description. I personally love the new LaunchBox default theme, and I think you will too. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching. <laughs>